Since time immemorial, we have been fascinated with tales of great leaders and kings. We've been fascinated with those who embody what is supposed to be good. And we have also been fascinated with villains who epitomise what is bad. Through the centuries, writers, poets and playwrights have given us scores of these characters. They have sometimes even shown us those who, like Milton and Satan, are cast out as a villain and then rise up as a king. This half term we're going to be studying kings and villains, so we thought we'd begin by sharing some of our favourites with you. Hi, one of the villains I find most interesting is the Joker in the Batman series, who started off 80 years ago in the 1940s as just a funny character um, playing tricks on Batman in the comic books and culminating in this really dark anti-hero of uh, 2019 film Joker, which explains that actually perhaps he's not the villain, but maybe it's society who is the villain. Um, because society has created such a wicked character. Hi, you rates. My favourite villain is Becky Sharp from Vanity Fair because she is really sassy. She is able to make a living for herself despite all of the world being against her. And I just, she just makes me laugh so much in the book. Uh, my favourite king is King Joffrey uh, from Game of Thrones, who is also definitely 100% a villain, but again, steals the show and is easily the best character. And let's be honest, villains are always the best characters. One villain I've always been interested in has been the Terminator from the films of the same name. He seems to embody an awful lot about the anxieties of the time and reflect many of our own anxieties now about the progress of technology and the possibility that we might well be superseded by things we've created. 